with you on a Monday afternoon as we get set for this broadcast of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and beside me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. Dave Aldridge joins us on the sideline. DA, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Jonas Valanciunas is hitting a lot of threes. So many so that his teammates started calling him Dirk Valanciunas. He says, I'm just taking what's out there. If I have an open shot, I'll take it. If I'm making it, I'll keep taking it. Simple as that. But, guys, you better believe he still can get it done inside as well. Oh, he can, no question. Thanks, David. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Lou Dort out there with Williams. Then it's Josh Giddy. Then there's Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And it's Williams at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Pelicans, they've got McCollum. Jones is out there with Ingram. Then there's Richardson, and it's Valanciunas in at the five down low. You know, one thing Greg the Thunder have done a great job of, drafting international players. Players like Serge Ibaka, Steven Adams in the past, a few good ones on this current roster as well. Credit the OKC scouts for just finding guys all over the world. Now here's McCollum. Back to Jones, five to shoot. Alan Junis sets a screen for Jones. And here's McCullum for three. Rebound by Williams. And so it's Williams who brings it up for Oklahoma City. Giddy against Richardson. Dort wide open, traps in the tray. And when you have Dort on your side, this is what he brings on the offensive end. Great off the catch and fire. Screen by Valanciunas. McCollum kicks to Richardson. Valanciunas sets a screen for Richardson. And no good to start the night, missing his first attempt there. The pass to Giddy. Gilgis Alexander, a screen on Richardson. With the fadeaway. Gilgis Alexander, good. I know he's young, but there's a maturity to Gilgis Alexander's game. He takes what you give him. Near the three-point line, it's McCollum. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this scene. Gilgis Alexander looking around. With the drive, played in with a nice touch off the glass. The ability to alternate tempo off the bounce. This is how Gilgis Alexander keeps defenders guessing. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. The Thunder have gotten their first three shots to go in for them to start off this game. Outside Williams. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. And there's a foul. It's on C.J. McCollum. That's his first foul. First team foul. Pass to Giddy. And it's Gilgis Alexander in the corner. Offline with his three. The Pelicans have gone just one of four to get this game started. Passes it to Valanciunas. New Orleans moving it around. Valanciunas with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And the way C.J. McCone Gray can get a shot up while moving, that's a big part of his game, isn't it? Yeah, very few players can shoot as well as McCollum on the run. Applies for his pull-up jumpers or when he's falling out of bounds. McCollum, one of the best in the league at it. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. After spending almost a decade in Portland, McCollum has adjusted well to playing in his new surroundings. You know, G.A., he's a fantastic player when he's out on the floor. Missed a lot of games over the last three years. But when he's feeling right, he is a nightmare to defend. Out. 
good on both. CJ has always been a gifted scorer, but he's shown significant improvement as a playmaker, which makes him even more dangerous with the ball in his hands. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander over Valanciunas, and that one hits back iron. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. McCollum dishes to Valanciunas. Kicks it to Ingram. Valanciunas with a screen on Williams. Back to Valanciunas, and stolen by Williams. Ingram against Giddy. It's Dort on the wing. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. And Valanciunas has got the ball here for the Pelicans. It's a three-point game. Here's McCollum. Falls through. He's now made two of four. C.J. McCollum making the mid-range shot look easy. Oklahoma City's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Gilgis Alexander against McCollum. Williams gets the bucket. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Now McCollum, he has six. Richardson with it. Alan Judas with a screen on Giddy. Richardson, excellent D there from Williams. The Thunder leading by four. Giddy kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Giddy. The pass to Gilgis Alexander. Score of the basket is third after five shots. I like that approach, playing inside out, forcing the defense to scramble. Pass to Valanciunas. Giddy against Richardson. Valanciunas with a screen on Giddy. Back to Valanciunas. From outside, off the mark. Thunder have gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And guys, things are looking up in New Orleans. The extension for Zion Williamson reflecting his commitment to this young core. And with the 8 pick and Dyson Daniels, that the Pels added to their bevy of young wing defenders. They're building a team to contend. No good on that one. Good on the second free throw. Pelicans trail by seven. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Richardson. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. On the wing, Jones. And the Pelicans miss again. Defensively, it's hard to account for everything. They gambled off him, and it worked. And here's Gilgis Alexander outside. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. The Pelicans have gone just two of eight shooting so far, just uh, 25%. McCollum feeling it out a bit. And again, New Orleans has no luck. The Thunder leading by seven. Gilgis Alexander with it. Now defended by McCollum. Here's Giddy. Reverse and the rejection by Valanciunas. Valanciunas, he's got that long wingspan. You saw it right there on that play. Williams against Ingram. Valanciunas with a screen on Williams. Pass to McCollum. Shot clock at six. Valanciunas passes to McCollum. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Connects from three-point range. Dort's got six points. 
And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Now here's McCollum. He's got six. Valanciunas with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Low block shot on the way. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. This team has credited Giddy's background for shaping him as a player. You know, he grew up in a house dominated by basketball. Both his parents played professionally in Australia. And that goes a long way toward developing your basketball IQ. Shoot two. The first one falls. Marshall, he's checked in for Josh Richardson. So McCollum nails both of them. The Thunder leading by eight. Giddy the pass to Williams. Passes it to Gilgis Alexander. And here is Ingram. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. He kicks it to Valanciunas. Dishes it to McCollum. Sweet move. The shot drops. His shooting percentage improves. He's three for seven now with that best. Look at CJ picking the defense apart, using the pick and roll to create openings. And the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Williams, a screen on McCollum. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. A underrated shooter. Shea Gilgis Alexander hits 40% from range at Kentucky. Pass to Jones. Alan Judas with a screen on Giddy. Jones. Thunder with the rebound. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. Here's Giddy and the Thunder another three. Boy, that was quick. Already out to a double-digit lead. This has been a beatdown right here, possibly over before it began. Now here's McCollum. Ten points for him. Marshall dishes to McCollum. Alan Judas with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. No coverage that time. McCollum's got 13 points. Yeah, and when you're hit, you gotta hit back. And you know he was going to try to respond. Those threes canceled each other out perfectly. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got nine. And Steve from Valanciunas. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. Marshall passes to McCollum. Pass to Valanciunas. He dishes it to Ingram. Over Williams. Second chance shot. Valanciunas, good. Ooh, physicality from Valanciunas on the glass. Securing the ball and sending it right back. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Williams sets a screen for Gilgis Alexander. Takes it from 10. And that one goes long. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. They trail by seven. Count that bucket. His assist numbers have grown. C.J. McCullum, pass on time. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Williams. Loads it up for Williams. Williams against Valanciunas. Williams passes to Dort. Drives to the hoop. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. 
It's on Eunice Valanciunas. I like when Dort takes initiative because he's capable of compromising defenders on the drive. Two shots. throw good Dort who needs the NBA draft I mean Dort worked his way onto the team into the rotation and then turns into a key contributor Sharch has checked in for the Thunder That's good as he hits both of his shots. Pelicans trail by seven. Alvarado passes to Marshall. Passes it to Alvarado. Gilgis Alexander against McCullough. Six on the shot clock. And another three for New Orleans. Nice little run here to shrink that deficit. But can they get over the hump? This is the tricky part. Having enough left in the tank to finish the job. Now here's Shorich. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Giddy. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Gilgis Alexander's got three assists now in this one. McCollum against Gilgis Alexander. Can he keep it going? And the basket by McCollum. McCollum's got 18 points in the game. This is nothing new for CJ. He's scoring in bunches. His offense on display. Williams passes to Sharich. Ingram with the steal. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. And a wide open look for McCollum. And another three for New Orleans. I love it. No hesitation from C.J. McCollum on that shot. Up top, Gilgis Alexander. He is guarded by McCollum. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. And a missed late. Shane Gilgis Alexander, guys, has been on display for the Thunder. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And we'll be right back after this. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Thunder. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And also, guys, they're playing for one another right now. All those extra passes are leading to easy buckets. Greg, you look at a player putting up big numbers on a losing team. How do you determine if those are quality numbers, so to speak? You know, Kevin, it's a, a great question because somebody's going to put up points or collect rebounds or get assists. So, you know, you look at efficiency, you, you look at effort, and there's no doubt that you can have winning players on losing teams. So for Oklahoma City right now, we've got Lou Dort, Gilgis Alexander out there with Josh Giddy. Then it's Dario Saric, and it's Pokushevsky in at the four slot. The wing, Gilgis Alexander. Charge a screen on McCollum. Here's Gilgis Alexander. McCollum against Gilgis Alexander. And there's the call on Lou George. That's his first foul. it up off the inbound it's blocked Nance against Giddy here's Sharich and again no good by Oklahoma City the Pelicans trail at 
getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks, guys. Well, the Thunder are trying to build something that will last. The front office says you stick to your principles, your values, and you think long term. We're focused on building a sustainably great team. We continue to be forward-facing in that respect. Kevin, back to you. It's a good philosophy, and they're not looking for any shortcuts, which is admirable. David, thanks. And here is Giddy. After Brandon Ingram getting his shot to go from deep, Dort kicks to Giddy. Just five to shoot. Sharks with the screen for Giddy. And here's Gilgis Alexander outside. Basket number five goes in. He's now five of 12 from the floor. Impressive night for Shea Gilchrist Alexander. Scoring and doing it in a variety of ways. And it's Ingram missing. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Gilchrist Alexander. 12 points for him. Jacks up a three, buries the long-range jumper. Now it's a five-point Thunder lead. Defensively, you have to tighten up on him or suffer the consequences. And Greg Anthony for Shea Gilgis Alexander, part of a growing trend in this NBA, giving his team length in the backcourt. Yeah, 6'6 six, six with a 6'11 wingspan. He can see over the top of the defense. He helps you on the glass, and he can switch on to frontcourt players defensively. That's what teams are looking for nowadays. And yes, it's good. This is what Shea excels at, navigating shot blockers in the paint and finishing. Ingram outside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And you look at the way Ingram can get off the shot. When he gets to his spots, there's just no stopping him. Very few players can create like he can. Pelican shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Shoot two. And that one falls for Ingram. A creator indeed. And the name you always hear, Greg, with Ingram as a comparison, Kevin Durant. Yeah, and that's about as fair a comp as you'll find. Ingram is special with how he can rise up over defenders with that shot. It makes him a lethal weapon late in the game. Jonas Valanciunas, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Jones comes in from a column. You know, I love that Brandon Ingram continues to grow his game. We've seen him get better at moving the ball, which only makes him more versatile on the floor. Alvarado passes to Valanciunas. On the wing, Giddy. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. And that'll be his third foul so far. On the wing, Giddy. Charge just screen on Jones. Five on the clock. Giddy, no good. Pelicans trailed by three. Now the pass to Ingram. Here's Alvarado. Back to Ingram. New Orleans moving it around. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. He usually shoots a high percentage in the paint. And on that play, Valanciunas got it done. Dort kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Latre. Offensive rebound. Here's Pakusevsky. For Oklahoma City, they have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. At the line for two. First one falls for Daniels. He's checked in for New Orleans. And 
and good on the second, so he makes them both. Pelicans trail by three. Ingram outside. Picked by Murphy. Ingram attacking. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Smitty taking a look at Brandon Ingram. He is a very difficult matchup. He is, Kevin. He scores in bunches, works well as a facilitator, and is capable of serving as a lead ball handler. Plus, with his length and skill set, he can play one through four. The first free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. They've held a 12-point lead early. Wiggins passes to Joe. Here's Pakusevsky. He's covered by Ingram. Clock at four. Joe. And again, Oklahoma City. No good. Down low. And Murphy with the dunk. Don't sleep on Ingram as a facilitator. Has the size to see over defenders and make sound decisions. Pass to Joe on the wing, Wiggins. Here's Joe, and it's Gilgis Alexander in the corner. Pass to Parker Sepsky. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Here's Sharks. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. New Orleans in the lead. Now Daniels. No points in the game yet for him. Outside, Jones. Here's Alvarado. And the three off target. Oklahoma City's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Get good. Gilgis Alexander's got 19 points. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. Here's Alvarado. Gilgis Alexander covering. It's Ingram on the wing. Off target from outside. The Thunder shooting 36% in the second quarter. They really haven't found their rhythm yet offensively here. Joe passes to Wiggins. The Thunder keep it going. A new 14-second clock. Yes, that goes in. And it's a three-point Oklahoma City lead. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Ingram deciding where to go with it. A step-back shot here. And again, New Orleans has no luck. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Here's Joe. He's covered by Daniels. The layup missed. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. Pass to Ingram. Ingram can't get that one to fall. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. to stop the drought, and the basket is good. Ingram's got 10 points. Good defense against Brandon Ingram, but he's crafty about creating just enough space for his shot. Higgins passes to Joe. 
Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Not a lot of room. Yep, it counts. Gilgis Alexander's got 23. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Back to Ingram. Here's Alvarado. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Nice pass. You see the point guard skills. Ingram running the show. Gilgis Alexander passes to Wiggins. Oklahoma City moving it around. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's guarded closer. And it's Daniels with the rebound. The Pelicans have gone 6-12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. A pass to Joe. Here's Pakusevsky. Right side, Gildas Alexander. Bucket is good. 25 points in the game. The Pelicans have gone 7 to 13 for the field since the start of the second. Ingram outside. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three point play chance here for him. This is why you take strength training seriously. Ingram may not have converted that earlier in his career. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stance for New Orleans. The way they've been going after steals in this game, it has been super impressive. They are wreaking havoc right now. And another thing they've done well is push the tempo. They're running the floor and converting on the fast break. And that one falls for Ingram. Oklahoma City trailing. Higgins outside. Pass to Robinson Earl. Here's Joe. The three-pointer no good. The Pelicans have gone 8 of 14 in the second quarter on field goal attempts. To the paint. Nance a screen. Oh, Nance in position. 129 left in the first half of the game. Shoots the three. Joe good. Joe's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. No shortage of drama here early on. Yeah, eight lead changes already. Huge number this early. Nance sets a screen for McCollum. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Here's Joe. He's covered by Daniels. Fouled on the shot, picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. The Thunder have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. And they've shot the ball well this season in, in terms of their attempts. 81%. Richardson, he's checked in for New Orleans. Dort, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Pelicans trail by four. 51 seconds left now here in the second. Man's a screen on Gilgis Alexander. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Such a pure score. The defense getting too aggressive on C.J. McCollum. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. He struggled mightily at the free throw line in their last game. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And the Thunder making a change here. Giddy's checked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. 
And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. They've held a 12-point lead early. Pass to Robinson Earl. Now here's Giddy. Carries it from three-point range. Giddy's got nine. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on him. Ingram with it. He's got 13. And he's knocked off course by the D. The foul call. He'll shoot free throw. For New Orleans, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. And really, the form at the line all season has been terrific. 79% as a team. Shoot two. And that one falls for Ingram. And he makes both free throws. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. Gilgis Alexander passes to Robinson Earl. No one covering. Robinson Earl's got himself on the board with three there. And this is Gilgis Alexander's responsibility to find his guys when they're open. Here's McCollum. Got it. Good job in the low post. And just solid play out of them that time. And that'll do it for the first half of competitive game so far. Oklahoma City out in front, leading by four. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway.